Why do people argue over what we already know to be true? It's a question that blows my mind. I mean, we all know that the Earth is most definitely not flat. I'm sure there's 100 different scientific experiments you can do to confirm that. We all know that the sun is a yellow star, that's how Superman gets his powers, of course. And we all know that it's always shining somewhere on the Earth. We all know. We all know. But do we really know? Because one of those things that I said is wrong. And no, it's not about Superman and the Earth is definitely not flat. I'll tell you which later, but my hope is that you can use this video to find the answer on your own. A lot of the times we go about life hearing things we immediately take as truths. Here's a quick example. There's two dogs called Little Blue and Mr. Red. Mr. Red has authority because he's a scientist. He tells Little Blue that there's this thing called chocolate that all the cool dogs are eating and it's totally safe. Little Blue doesn't question it and gets addicted without ever knowing that chocolate was poison to his body. In reality, this actually happened with the tobacco industry paying off the Mr. Reds out there to spread misinformation, allowing a whole generation to think smoking was safe. We all know now that cigarettes are very harmful to our bodies, but the same thing is actually happening today with big oil and climate change. So how do we make sure that we don't fall into the same trap as Little Blue? If we want to know the truth from the beginning, we have to change the way we think. Question and doubt everything until you're left with the undeniable basic truths called first principles. The first time I heard this term was from the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, Elon Musk. Elon describes it as first principles reasoning. You boil things down to the fundamental truths and reason up from there, as opposed to reasoning by analogy, which essentially means copying what other people do with slight variation. On one side, you're questioning everything you know and searching for the truth. On the other, you simply believe what is widely held as true. Elon calls it a physics way of thinking. In physics, First principles are used when calculations begin with established laws and when no assumptions are made. This is the type of process that Elon goes through. You break down a situation into the core pieces and find a more effective solution from there. So let's break it down into action steps for you to do. Because I truly believe that Elon embodies this principle, I'll illustrate these actions alongside what Elon did for his company SpaceX so that you have an example to follow. Step 1. Identify your vision or goal. You need to make sure that this is as specific and clear as possible, otherwise it's going to be difficult to do the following steps. Elon's ultimate vision for SpaceX is to colonize Mars. On the SpaceX website, the mission statement is to revolutionize space technology with the ultimate goal of enabling people to live on other planets. This is a very clear mission that is easy to visualize and understand. Step 2. With the goal comes different types of obstacles. List out all the obstacles and actions you think you need to do to get past them. Perform steps 3 and 4 for each of them. Most people stop at step 2 and then immediately take actions on the assumptions. Step 3 is where you really apply first principles. Elon's primary obstacle in the beginning was that he needed to advance rocket technology to be able to reach Mars at a reasonable price. So here's a short version of the story. In 2001, a 30-year-old Elon takes a huge interest in space and getting to Mars. He found out that NASA had no plans to do this, so he set out on a mission to do it himself. To get past the first obstacle, Elon met with experts and educated himself with books. As an action step for his primary obstacle, Elon believed that he needed to go to Russia to find an ICBM to use as his launch vehicle, and this is what he actually did, but he wasn't taken seriously. This is where step 3 comes in. Identify current assumptions about the obstacles and actions needed to get closer to your goal. Break it down into first principles by asking powerful questions. And this is exactly what Elon did. Instead of relying on the Russians, he took a first principles approach. Some of the questions he asked were, what are the physics of it? How much time will it take? How much will it cost? How much cheaper can I make it? After asking these questions and doing some research, Elon found out that he can make a rocket for much cheaper than anybody could imagine. On the flight back from Russia, he showed his two friends the spreadsheet that he created using the knowledge he gained from studying rockets and found that it was possible for them to create it themselves. This brings us to step four. Once the first principles are discovered, use them to reason up and build a new creative solution for the obstacle. Elon set out to make this dream happen, so he gathered a team, refined the plans based off the first principles, giving birth to SpaceX on June 2002. Right now, SpaceX has succeeded in revolutionizing rocket technology by creating the first reusable rockets. Currently, its manifest contains more than 100 launches for the future, and this private company has already made historical achievements multiple times. 
Rocket technology had been pretty much stagnated for decades, but Elon used first principles thinking to effectively reignite the dream for space travel. Remember that first principles is a way of thinking. To apply it in all actions, you just need to have one goal in mind, to know the truth. The obstacles are lies and assumptions. Your third step is to continuously ask questions in doubt until you get down to the first principles. And finally, from there, you use what you found to reason up to the truth. In that sense, you will always be applying first principles thinking in everything you do. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider giving this video a like and subscribing. It would mean a lot. I first stumbled upon this concept by watching an interview with Elon. It resonated immediately since I had a degree in physics and the ideas made perfect sense. I'll leave a link to that interview in the description and I'll also leave links to any sources that I use to compose this video. I hope this video inspired a new way of thinking and if not, at the very least, provided some insights on how Elon Musk thinks. I really believe in what Elon is doing and the power of this way of thinking. If we can improve the way we think, we can improve our lives and the lives of many others around us. Thanks for watching.